In the mystical realm of Draenor, a lush and vibrant jungle known as Tanan thrived, teeming with exotic creatures and ancient secrets. But little did the denizens of this enchanted land know, a cataclysmic change is about to unfold. Brace yourselves, dear viewers, as we delve into the captivating tale of how Tanan jungle transformed into the treacherous Hellfire Peninsula. Before the Burning Legion came to Draenor, Tanan jungle was a lush and vibrant region teeming with diverse flora and fauna. It was known for its dense forests, towering trees, and winding rivers. The jungle was home to various orc clans including the Bleeding Hollow, Shadow Moon, and Warsong clans. One important event that took place in Tanan was the rise of the Iron Horde under the leadership of Gramash Hellscream. The Iron Horde sought to conquer Draenor and establish a new orcish empire. Tanan jungle served as a crucial staging ground for their military operations. Additionally, the Dark Portal, a massive gateway between Draenor and Azeroth, was located in Tanan jungle. The Dark Portal played a significant role in the events that led to the corruption of the orcs and the invasion of Azeroth by the Burning Legion. Overall, Tanan jungle was a vibrant and significant region in Draenor with its lush landscapes, important orcish clans, and key landmarks shaping the history of the world. To know about the Burning Legion, I think you should know a little about the Draenei and why the Burning Legion wants them dead so badly. The Eridar are a powerful and ancient race of beings from the planet Argus. They were originally a highly intelligent and magically gifted species, known for their mastery of arcane and fell magic. The Eridar were divided into three main factions, the Draenei, who were the peaceful and noble ones, the Minari, who were the corrupt and power-hungry ones, and the Anilian, who were the brutish and warlike ones. The Burning Legion, led by Kil'jaeden and Archimond, was formed by the Minari Eridar, who were corrupted by the dark powers of the fell. They sought to conquer the universe and spread chaos and destruction wherever they went. The Draenei are a specific faction of the Eridar who fled their homeworld of Argus to escape the corruption of the Burning Legion. The Legion, led by Kil'jaeden, seeks to eradicate the Draenei because they are one of the few races that have successfully resisted their influence and have the potential to unite other races against them. The Legion sees the Draenei as a threat in their plans of universal domination and seeks to eliminate them to ensure their own power and control. For millennia, Kil'jaeden and the Burning Legion searched for the Draenei, but they always managed to escape. However, Kil'jaeden's servant, Talgath, discovered a world called Draenor that showed signs of the Draenei's magic. This world became a refuge for the exiled Draenei, and also housed a race of shamanistic beings called Orcs. Kil'jaeden saw an opportunity to use the Orcs as his agents and corrupted them to turn against the Draenei. The Legion's ultimate goal is to destroy the Draenei and any other races that oppose them, ensuring their own dominance and control over the universe. Intrigued by the orcs' potential, Kil'jaeden saw an opportunity to use them as his agents. Among the orcs, Gul'dan stood out as a candidate with immense potential. Born crippled and despised by his clan, Gul'dan harbored a deep hatred for his people. When he was on the verge of being beaten to death, an elderly shaman advised him to seek out the throne of the elements, where he might find his destiny. Rejected by the elemental spirits, Gul'dan was approached by Kil'jaeden, who promised him power and godhood in exchange for his help in corrupting the orcs and turning them against the Draenei. Gul'dan eagerly accepted and Kil'jaeden taught him the ways of fell magic, a destructive force that would physically change the orcs. To hide Gul'dan's newfound abilities, Kil'jaeden instructed him to use fell magic sparingly and to mask his powers. Gul'dan quickly mastered the volatile power and became a formidable warlock. However, Kil'jaeden knew that Gul'dan alone couldn't unite the orc clans into an army. He ordered Gul'dan to ally with Ner'zhul, the ruler of the Shadowmoon clan, who would inspire and lead the orcs. Under Kil'jaeden's manipulation, the orc shamans, including Ner'zhul, were convinced that the Draenei were plotting against them. The clans launched successful attacks against the Draenei, believing it to be their ancestor's will. When Ner'zhul discovered the truth and tried to undo his actions, Kil'jaeden stripped him of his power and Gul'dan taught his warlock magics to other orcs, forming the Shadow Council to secretly rule over them. To further corrupt the orcs, Manoroth's blood was given to them, driving them into a bloodlust. Kil'jaeden ordered Gul'dan to lead the orcs into a final battle against the Draenei at Shatteroth City resulting in a brutal massacre. Kil'jaeden and his master Sargeras were pleased with the Horde's destruction of the Draenei, as it weakened Azeroth. Sargeras then cut off communication with the Orcs, forcing them to seek survival on another world. The Orcs, under the influence of the Burning Legion, used the Draenei as sacrifices to power the Dark Portal, a gateway between Draenor and Azeroth. This dark ritual caused the deaths of many Draenei, and their bones are scattered throughout Hellfire Peninsula as a grim reminder of the atrocities committed by the Orcs and the Burning Legion. The transformation of Tanan jungle into Hellfire Peninsula was a result of the actions of the Burning Legion and the Orcs. When the Orcs were corrupted by the fell magic and turned against the Draenei, they became the Iron Horde and launched a devastating assault on the Draenei's capital city of Shatroth. The battle resulted in a brutal massacre and the destruction of the city. During the battle, the Orcs used powerful fell magic and demonic rituals to summon and channel the destructive energies of the Burning Legion. 
This unleashed immense chaos and destruction upon Tanan Jungle, warping the landscape and corrupting it with fell energy. The once lush and vibrant jungle was transformed into a desolate wasteland, with fiery pits, scorched earth, and twisted demonic structures. The fell magic and demonic energies infused the land, causing it to become a place of constant turmoil and suffering. The very essence of the land was corrupted, turning it into a nightmarish landscape known as Hellfire Peninsula. The skies turned dark and fiery, and the air became thick with the stench of sulfur and brimstone. The transformation of Tanan Jungle into Hellfire Peninsula was a physical manifestation of the destructive power of the Burning Legion and the corruption of the orcs. It serves as a reminder of the devastation caused by their actions and the ongoing threat they pose to the world of Azeroth. In Hellfire Peninsula, there are several key landmarks and structures that hold great importance to the lore within the world of Azeroth and Draenor. First off is the Dark Portal. The Dark Portal is a massive gateway that connects the Shattered World of Draenor to the realm of Azeroth. It was originally created by the Orcs under the influence of the Burning Legion, using the sacrifice of the Draenei to power it. The Dark Portal serves as a symbol of the Orcs' corruption and their connection to the Burning Legion. Hellfire Citadel is a massive fortress located in the heart of Hellfire Peninsula. It was once the seat of power for the orc warlock Gul'dan and his Shadow Council. The Citadel is a place of immense evil and serves as a stronghold for the Burning Legion. Filled with demonic forces and powerful warlocks, it is a formidable and dangerous place. Within Hellfire Citadel, there are three dungeons in one raid that play a significant role in the lore of Hellfire Peninsula. The first dungeon is the Rampart, which serves as the entrance to the Citadel. It was once a Draenei fortress but was taken over by the Burning Legion. Players venture into the ramparts to confront the fell orcs and demons that have taken control of the area. The second dungeon is the Blood Furnace, a massive forge where the Burning Legion creates their fell orcs. Players delve into the Blood Furnace to disrupt the Legion's operations and put an end to their creation of fell orcs. The dungeon is filled with powerful demons and fell orcs, making it a challenge and dangerous place to explore. The final dungeon is the Shattered Halls, which is the heart of the Citadel and serves as a base of operations for the fell orcs. The dungeon is heavily guarded and the players must navigate through traps and powerful enemies to reach the final boss, War Chief Kargath Bladefist. Defeating him is a crucial step in dismantling the Burning Legion's hold on Hellfire Peninsula. Lastly, there is the raid called Magtheridon's Lair, named after Magtheridon, a pit lord, who was once the ruler of Outland. The dungeon tells the story of how Illidan Stormrage, a powerful night elf, imprisoned Magtheridon and took control of his forces. Players must defeat Magtheridon and his minions to free Outland from his grasp. Next up is the Throne of Kil'jaeden. The Throne of Kil'jaeden is a massive demonic structure located atop a mountain in Hellfire Peninsula. It is a place of great significance to the Burning Legion, as it is where Kil'jaeden, one of the Legion's most powerful leaders, resides. The throne serves as a focal point for the Legion's power and influence in the region. Last but not least, we have the Pools of Aganar. It is a large crater filled with fell lava and surrounded by demonic structures. The Pools of Aganar are believed to be the result of a powerful demonic ritual performed by the Burning Legion and the Corrupted Orcs. According to the lore, the Pools of Aganar were created when the Fell Orcs, under the influence of the Burning Legion, used powerful Fell magic to summon and channel the destructive energies of the Legion. This unleashed immense chaos and destruction, resulting in the formation of the crater and Fell lava that now fills it. The Pools of Aganar serves as a constant reminder of the destructive power of the Burning Legion and the corruption of the Fell Orcs. The fell lava and demonic structures surrounding the crater are a testament to the ongoing threat posed by the Legion and the consequences of their actions. These landmarks and structures play a crucial role in the lore of Outland and Draenor, representing the power and influence of the Burning Legion and the devastation caused by their actions. They serve as reminders of the ongoing threat posed by the Legion and the need for heroes to rise up and protect the world from their destructive forces. And there you have it folks, the incredible transformation of Tanan Jungle into the infamous Hellfire Peninsula. From a lush and vibrant jungle teeming with life to a desolate and fiery wasteland, the change is nothing short of astonishing. The once peaceful and serene landscape now echoes with the sounds of war and destruction. It serves as a constant reminder of the dark forces that have plagued Draenor. But amidst the chaos and devastation, there is still hope. Heroes rise to the challenge, fighting against the darkness and striving to restore peace to this shattered land. So join us next time as we continue to explore the rich and captivating lore of World of Warcraft. Until then, may your adventures be epic and your journeys be filled with wonder.